If your coach provided you with a login ID, go to the tournament webpage and click on Tournament, Student Dashboard, and click on Tick Online Test Using Login ID. Here, type in the student login ID that was provided to you. And the first time you're here, the system will ask you to create a password. Make sure you remember the password. You will also have to put in your first name and last name, and make sure that they match what your coach put. Once logged in, again, you should see a list of the events you'll be taking. Make sure you can see all of your events and that there are no extra events. Once you verify that all of events are listed prior to the tournament, you're all set. On tournament day, use the same method that you used to log in before and go to the test at the appropriate time. You probably want to get in about five minutes beforehand. Once you're on an event page, you'll see the key parameter for your test, like how long you have for the test and other instructions. You will also see a chat box for you to communicate with your partner or the event supervisor. Check with your partner to make sure they're ready before you click start, because as soon as you, either of you start the test, the timer will start. Once you start the test, both you and your partner will see the same test, and when I click on an answer, the answer will show up on my partner's test immediately. The only exception is Codebusters, where you need to click Save Answer before what you type will show up on your partner's screen. You can also use the chat box to talk to your partner or figure out who's going to do which question, and you can also ask the event supervisor any question you may have. One thing to keep in mind is that the online system will check if you leave the browser or go to a different tab. So if you were to leave, notice that it says now, time outside of test browser, one second. Of course, there's some events like astronomy, which allows you to use resources on your computer, and those events will not be keeping track of the time outside of the browser. As you're working on the test, you'll also be able to see the amount of time left on the event. When you're done with the test, click Submit. If you're not done by the end of the period, the system will automatically submit what you've worked on so far. Some events like Write a Cadet, Mission Possible, the Flight Event, the Vehicle Event, and others will take place outside of Sci Olympiad.